for you specifically, what was it that intrigued you to stay natural, like to do the natural bodybuilding thing? Because of course you have the naysayers online that are constantly accusing you of not being natural, but for anybody who's in natural bodybuilding can clearly see that you are. It's no secret that you have a physique that emulates Arnold Schwarzenegger. So it could be easily taken that maybe you would have gone down that path, but maybe there's a story there as well that you want to share. I always find that funny that, you know, you'll have a handful of people that, you know, they say like, oh, he's, there's no doubt he's natural. He's not that big. He looks like half the size Arnold was, which was probably true. Like if you look at his measurements and compare them to mine, I'm like, if Arnold was a plum, I'd be the prune. You know, it's like, it's night and day. He would have been a lot bigger than me, but a recent post Nick Strength and Power did on me, probably only about six months ago, maybe even less, he put something else up comparing me to Arnold again. And a lot of comments were positive, but a lot of them are, a lot of them are comparing me to Arnold and saying like, this guy can't be natural. Like he, he looks like Arnold. But then the other half of the people saying like, yeah, definitely natural looks like half the size of Arnold. So it's funny to me that there's no consistency with that. But anyway, in regard to your question, I just loved the look of like the, it was more so like actors of like the seventies and eighties, like Arnold, of course, but then there was guys like Lou Ferrigno, uh, Steve Reeves, but in all the, the uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone, like I saw oh. his physical progression, even though I found out years later that he took steroids at the time, like I was just young and naive and giving everyone the benefit of the doubt. But I think that's part of the reason I did so well as a natural is because I wasn't willing to, I didn't want to assign someone like guilty until proven innocent. It was the other way around. Like, unless I heard it from them or I'd seen an interview where they said, yes, they took steroids or whatever it may be. I was willing to just give everyone the benefit of the doubt. And, you know, back then too, like I really didn't have much internet access or anything. I just wanted to achieve the best physique I could with as little as possible. You know, so I was training from home most days when I started and made most of my progress there at home. And there was a period of time where I did take a lot of supplements and sort of like regret it just because of the amount of money I spent on that. But like when I started, I didn't take any just because I didn't have the money to. A lot of the time it was like, it was definitely just that, that I just wanted to, to try and achieve something great with as little as possible. And also just because like I didn't have much money, there was no way I was going to invest in you know supplements and steroids and things if like i could barely pay rent you know so yeah it it just wasn't even it wasn't even a consideration and i just saw over time year after year i saw like i would look back on the previous year and i saw progression and i would take measurements and once i saw good progress i thought oh i could keep going with this and i didn't think it would amount to this you know but i did think something good could come of it Even when I started posting my physique, when I had like three, 400 followers using a film camera, that was the whole idea is like, I liked the physique I'd created and then I wanted to put it in the best possible light. And then one day I was working in a gym at the time and like my phone was sort of going crazy because I had notifications on at the time and I couldn't figure it out. Then I found out, you know, Nick Strength and Power had made that video. So I'm glad that I stayed natural and made something of it, you know, without having to spend all that money, without having to jeopardize my health. And then that's why now I want to promote that. I know guys that are 16, 17 that are dabbling in steroids at that age. And to me, that's wild. First off, I just want to say, because maybe, and I don't hope it didn't get taken in the wrong way, but physique wise, incredible, inspiring, proportion, symmetry, all that. So when I said that clearly natural, what I was trying to get across was that if you're truly within the natural bodybuilding world, and you've seen physiques that have been created naturally, you have more of a radar for what's enhanced, what truly looks enhanced and what doesn't. So that's kind of what I was trying to say, just in case it came across different no, to the listeners. Yeah, yeah. Not, um, not at all. Yeah, because usually I think I think I, I look at my physique and think, yeah, I definitely look natural. There's other natural guys that look a lot better than me that have a lot more genetic potential than me. Well, you know, maybe better is not the right word, but that's subjective. That might be how you feel right about the sure. situation. But I think it's more so to potentially do with how lean some of the bodybuilders are getting due to the contest they're preparing for. So if you have like these prestigious natural bodybuilding events that have been going on since I want to say the 90s, like uh, the Yorton Cup, I don't know if you're how familiar you are with some of these contests or WMBF Worlds or the Natural Olympia. And depending on how stringent the drug testing is, some of these guys are getting 
ridiculously shredded, but the way you mm -hmm. stay and how you keep your physique, which is more lean all year long. And this is an interesting topic I want to get into. To me, I, from a, you know, a subjective standpoint, I prefer that look. That's what I think Artemis was trying to create with the physical culture contest, if I'm not mistaken, was not yeah. where instead of getting this ridiculously shredded physique where the bodybuilders are starting to look, yeah, it's, it's entering territory where, okay, that's where the sport evolved to. But if we go back to, again, the era of like Steve Reeves, and then maybe a bit ahead of that, they weren't getting that lean, but the physiques looked so great. It looked healthy, you know? Yeah, yeah, I totally agree that it looked healthy. Uh, as Bob Paris once said, you know, you could walk down the street and not offend people with the way that you looked, you know? And I kind of like that, that you look good in clothing, in any attire. It is essentially that, that you, it's not like offensive to the eye. Right, right. So you did a contest recently, you actually updated your more than muscle YouTube channel, which was a shock for everybody who follows that channel. Because <laughs> yeah, because there's times where it's, not you know, it's silent. Yeah. So yeah. when I saw that, I was like, Oh, snap, and you competed. And it's interesting, because you won that contest, correct? Yeah, that's from right. what I yeah. saw. Yeah, yeah. Congrats on that. But my question is, do you have any aspirations to go further into the contest realm? What was the drive behind that specific contest? Because obviously, if you're going deep into the natural bodybuilding competitive scene, they're getting ridiculously lean. And is that something that you see yourself ever doing at any point? Yeah, it is something I see myself doing. I would say definitely this year, I want to pursue that like a lower body fat percentage. I think that last competition was the best shape I've got myself in is in terms of I think I did well to sort of like maintain fullness and, and get a little bit leaner than I ever have before. I've competed before years ago and never posted about it. That's because back then I, I didn't have a following and I didn't really care for social media. But from memory, I didn't get very lean. Like I was a bit delusional. I thought I looked phenomenal. Like I thought I, I did look like Arnold, you know, and then I saw photos afterwards like, eh, maybe not. You know? <laughs> like, so I knew there was a lot of work to be done, but hence why I never posted that stuff. But the comps I did just last year that I posted about recently, I definitely did put a lot more effort into those. And, but I was still put off, you know, getting any leaner than that because I do get fearful about losing size and, and I sort of want to maintain the same look. I don't ever want to end up looking how I think some of the natural competitors look, which is to me resembles that of like a prisoner of war or something. They just look absolutely malnourished and stringy and yeah, on the verge of collapse. So I did what I think I could just to win. But if I was to compete again, I would definitely want to push that limit a little bit more.